What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a ton of gems that I personally will be sporting this fall season. By the time that you're watching this video, a week before was my actual and real birthday. I just recently turned 26. So in celebrance of that, in today's video, I have a nice little giveaway for you guys. I'll talk about that more in just a second, but before we dive into that, and before we dive into like the actual pieces, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this. And if you aren't already, definitely be sure to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I've been producing a ton of like reels, Instagram content, like outfit photos, as well as producing a ton over on TikTok. So definitely be sure to, again, run it up that way. Don't miss it. Nonetheless, it's definitely going to get chatty as always. So do what you have to do. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kick back and relax me for a bit. And let's dive into first the giveaway rules, and then we'll go ahead and get into the pieces. So let's get into it. I'm super excited to say that today's video is a partnership with Karma, formerly known as Shop Tiger. For any of you guys who are new, Karma is an amazing app and online extension that helps you find and get the best deals on some of your favorite pieces from some of your favorite brands. Karma has literally saved me so much money and it has found me some really good deals, especially on the sweatpants that I will be talking about in just a second. So the way that Karma works, it's super easy. All you guys have to do is just sign up for a Karma account. And when you go ahead and do so, you just download this little web browser extension. So when you guys are shopping on your favorite stores like Mr. Porter, Farfetch, just go ahead and do your regular thing, you know, scroll, scroll through the website, see what you like. And when you find something you like, you can go ahead and save that set item to your Karma wish list, and you can categorize your wish list by whatever categories you like. So for me personally, I have fashion one, a home one, a accessories one, and a shoe one. Once you go ahead and save that set item, Karma will let you know if and when that particular item either goes on sale or if it's out of stock, it will let you know when it comes back in stock via push notification through the app or on your email. Karma also has a couple new and amazing features as well, such as cash back. So when you guys are shopping on their partnered websites and online retailers, you will literally get paid to shop through their cash back feature. They will not only give cash back to you, but they will also give cash back to a good cause. And to save you even more money, Karma at the end, when you guys are like at your checkout and when you're in your cart, Karma will go ahead and do its thing and it will scan the whole entire internet web. So you guys don't have to do the legwork and they can go ahead and again, find you the best deal and make sure you are saving the most amount of money on your said purchase. So if any of you guys are interested in getting the best deal, saving a ton of money and having what I would like to call a online virtual shopping assistant, definitely be sure to check out and start using and download Karma right now. It will be the first link in my description box down below. So starting off with my favorite, favorite, favorite piece that I just recently picked up, it is this coat from H&M. You guys already know what it is. If you are regulars, you would know. I love me a good oversized overcoat for the fall slash winter time. However, this coat is a little bit special because this coat right here is actually from the women's section. I'm not opposed to wearing women's clothes. I feel like if you like it, if you vibe with it, and if you feel like it suits you and your aesthetic, regardless of whatever gender it's supposed to be for, just go ahead and grab it. And again, wear it and sport the heck out of it. So this H&M coat right here was definitely a random, but pleasantly random find. Um, I was shopping with my fiance and obviously she was in the women's section and I saw this and I was like, oh shit, let me go ahead and try that on real quick. Tried it on and it fit me exactly how I wanted it to, nice and oversized. I can definitely see myself wearing this with like a hoodie, some pants, some chunky boots, and like a really nice bag to kind of just tie and pull in everything. By the time that I was recording this video, it wasn't on the H&M website just yet, but if it is, I'll be sure to link it down below. But if not, again, just go into your local H&M stores and hopefully you can find this piece right here because it is definitely a Banger. You guys know I love me a good, not only overcoat for the fall slash winter season, but I love me a good pair of sweatpants. And if you guys are regulars, you would know I always gravitate towards the cold bucks and sweatpants that I have. To be fair, the cold bucks and sweatpants is definitely quality and I can justify the price. But I think if you guys just, again, don't have that cold bucks in check, but you're looking for a solid sweatpant for the fall slash winter season, I would highly recommend the sweatpants from the blank staples range from H&M. I love these sweatpants so much. I picked them up in a black as well as a light gray and a chocolate brown. I cannot recommend these sweatpants enough because as you guys can see, it comes in a ton of colors. It fits so beautifully. I feel like you can kind of go ahead and leave it a little bit more slouchy if you want like that more like relaxed look, or you can kind of go ahead and maybe like cuff it or tuck it into your socks to get like that more tapered, again, more cuffed look, depending on what you like and how you'd style it. But yeah, I just feel like I personally will be living in sweatpants this season. Something I really like about sweatpants and something that I 
personally have been doing is kind of experimenting with how I style it. So I can either like dress it up if I wanted to with maybe like some chunky boots, a really nice overcoat and a turtleneck, or I can dress it down with maybe just like a basic tee, a nice overcoat and some chunky sneakers and a bag. And either way, I'd be good to go. You guys know I usually opt for the ASOS Fisherman beanies. That is like my go-to. That is my favorite piece. However, when I was shopping for these pieces, I saw this one. And I also thought that this could be a really good option for you guys who, you know, you don't really mess with ASOS or you just kind of want something that's a little bit more accessible if you have a local H&M. So I really like this one. I like the fit. It's a little bit more loose than the ASOS ones, but nonetheless, I still really like it. And this one is actually like knitted. So it has like that yarn kind of like textured detail, so to speak. On the H&M website, they only offer, I believe it's like a bright yellow and kind of like a muted brown um so hopefully by the time that this video goes up the black one is in stock online but if it's not again just visit your local h&m low-key i feel like h&m isn't really like my go-to year-round store because i feel like where they really shine is truly and only during fall slash winter they have some solid finds that i personally think are worth the price and can be styled multiple ways with the other existing pieces that you have in your wardrobe all right, you guys, so let's dive into a brand and the pieces that unfortunately didn't get to me on time when filming this video. However, I wanted to mention them in this video because the pieces just recently came out. They're insane quality, at least from like what I've seen on Instagram and what my homie told me. The brand that I'm going to be talking about is Studio Du Jour by my homie at I'm Nate Griff on Instagram, YouTube. I'm sure if you guys watch me, you guys watch him as well. But if you guys don't know who he is, he is essentially a men's fashion content creator here on, again, YouTube and Instagram. We have very similar aesthetics and very similar styles. He just recently came out with his own brand called Studio Du Jour and he kindly gifted me his oversized hoodie and his oversized sweatshirt. I'll be sure to throw up some photos so you guys can kind of see the fit and the vibes and just kind of like the quality of the pieces when I'm talking about it. On a personal note, it's kind of one of those things that I want to support creators where I can and he is definitely a homie. He is always gassing me up. He is always, you know, we talk fairly often and we kind of just grew outside of being like work friends, so to speak. It's like, it's more, of, it's more of like a brother sort of thing and not to mention the pieces go insane and go crazy so you will definitely be seeing me support those and style those pieces on instagram on tiktok and all of my other future youtube videos to come because this fall winter i will be going crazy and going heavy with content so stay tuned for that so this next piece is this bag right here. And as you guys can see, it is very reminiscent of the Loewe puzzle bag. I picked this bag up from like a random online retailer that essentially makes really good dupes for the designer bags. However, here's what I will say about dupes and replicas when it comes to designer pieces. I feel like when you see this piece right here, obviously it is very reminiscent of the Loewe puzzle bag, but something that I feel like separates and sets apart dupes versus replicas is dupes is just offering a very similar aesthetic to the original piece. However, replicas not only wanna make a piece that looks similar to the original, but they wanna play off and come off as if the fake is the original. So as you guys can see, even though this bag right here is a really good Loewe puzzle bag dupe. It is not a replica because there is no Loewe stamping and Loewe kind of branding across the bag like how the original one is. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to put a quick disclaimer out there. I am not promoting copying yourself replicas, but I do think a really good affordable dupe every now and then is a good option, especially if you're like me, because as you guys can see, not only is this bag super nice, but it's, it's definitely unique. You know, it's not everyone's taste. And so for me personally, before I opt to get the three, $4,000 Loewe puzzle bag, the real one, I wanted to try an affordable option and an affordable dupe so I can go ahead and style it, see how I like it with my actual pieces that I already own and my style and see if it will fit before I commit to purchasing that really big again, purchase. And I feel like just kind of having this affordable alternative is making me want the real one, but I definitely have to stack up my money for it. All right, you guys. And then this last piece right here is not necessarily a new piece. However, it is a piece that I got during the springtime and I definitely believe it didn't have its moment during the fall season. And I just feel like for any of you guys who necessarily didn't watch my spring fashion content, or if you're just, if you're new here and you're stumbling upon this video right here, I wanted to talk about this coat right here because this is also another banger. It is this Subi coat right here. As you guys can see, really nice, light, almost like oatmeal color sort of flex. Definitely up my alley in regards to the fit. It's really nice and oversized. I really like the material of the actual coat. It's almost kind of like this really nice 
tight wool. It's not like one of those wools that kind of is like a little furry, if you know what I'm trying to mean. It's like a tight packed wool, which is really nice and comes off super luxurious. As you guys can see from the B-roll clips, the website photos and all that stuff, it is an insane piece down to the quality, the way that it fits, the little mini details with the Subi branding on the actual buttons is super nice as well, in my opinion. And I can definitely see myself having this for years to come, styling it in so many ways, not only for the fall season, but also the winter. I think I own about like almost 20 overcoats at this point and i think that this subi one is definitely my favorite I have a new in-home piece I want to talk to you guys about, and it is this diffuser from Vitruvi. This is the Stay diffuser in the oat color, and this bad boy right here is definitely going to be a solid everyday piece that I personally will be using in my apartment. Just kind of a little bit about it. It's up to 18 hour runtime. It's in this really nice like matte metal finish. It's a really good looking diffuser, if you know what I'm trying to say, because I think if any of you guys are into essential oils, if you're into making sure that your apartment or your home smells good, a diffuser is definitely a must because not only is it a little bit more eco-friendly than candles um it's just a little bit more safer in my opinion and it lasts longer again this is up to 18 hour run times highly recommend for anyone who is just so adamant about creating a really nice well-smelling atmosphere a really nice cozy space i have a nice little discount code that you guys can use if you guys are interested all right, you guys, and that is it for my fall recent pickups. Much love once again to Karma for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Definitely be sure to visit the first link in my description box down below so you guys can go ahead and start using your, what I would like to call, online shopping assistant. And definitely be sure to enter my little birthday giveaway so you guys can potentially use that gift card to get you some solid gems for the fall season, such as the things that I showed you right here. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and as always, definitely be sure to follow me over on my other social platforms. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.